current interdisciplinary investigations at the archaeological site of Dugga is organized by the Working Group Common Heritage and Common Challenges in collaboration with uh, Institut Pasteur of Tunis and the National Institute of Heritage. This workshop uh, involved uh, participants from various uh, academic backgrounds from Tunisia, Algeria and Germany with the aim of exchanging experiences and discussing the best way to initiate new path of uh, scientific investigation uh, in Dugga. The site of Dugga is qualified as a World Heritage uh, Site by the UNESCO. It presents multiple facets from the Median, Roman and Byzantine facets. The Basina 55 is an Median tomb with plural uh, burials of adults and emitters. DNA analysis will permit us to identify biological profile, ancestry and pathogens. It's the first in Tunisia for a uh, Numidian tomb. This workshop, which is done in the frame of this working group project, is for three days. And the first day we visited the site of Dogga and we had the chance to be guided by Professor Samir Onalla, who is from the National Heritage Institute and who is responsible of the site. So really it was an exciting visit and we discussed about how different populations cohabited together. The second day was organized in the National Carthage Museum and it was a list of conferences given by experts in the field, archaeologists, historians, and anthropologists, and also geneticists. The event was hybrid because two speakers joined us from France and they are working on the site of Doga. We had, in this project, we had this chance to have the first molecular anthropologist in North Africa, Dr. Rin Kefi, who will give her expertise for the DNA and genomic analysis. Uh, my talk is, was about uh, ancient DNA investigation in prehistoric uh, North African population and uh, our perspective for the site of Doga. Doga site in Tunisia is registered as a heritage, UNESCO heritage, and it's very interesting site because archaeological investigation showed the cohabitation in the same city of uh, Nubic, Romans, and Greek civilizations. And excavation uh, showed also several uh, burials with a lot of uh, bones, disconnected bones, that uh, uh, raise several questions. Is it uh, family burials or uh, no? So, as a molecular anthropologist, I contribute to the project funded by Agia to analyze the ancient DNA of sample from the population of uh, the antique site of Dugga. So our activities is mainly focused on the analysis of ancient DNA of about 50 samples. And we will uh, isolate ancient DNA, uh, analyze mitochondrial DNA and uh, nuclear DNA using next generation sequencing in collaboration with the Max Planck Institute in Germany. The analysis of the genomic data will allow us to identify the fingerprints of individuals. We can determine the sex of individuals to characterize them and to identify relationship between individuals. Also, we will study variants involved in phenotypic traits such as the color of skin, the color of eyes, and uh, in order to uh, establish a portrait robot of individuals. And finally, we can analyze variants involved in disease, so we can establish uh, diseases 
and we can know diseases involved in the populations and appeared in the population, such as common diseases, metabolic diseases, and cancers. All these data will allow us to better understand the ancient population, the antique population of Doga. So today we are here at the National Museum in Carthage and Duga really for me, I'm new to this topic, so for me is really a keystone uh, to opening up all kinds of really interesting interdisciplinary questions that bring together a wide variety of specialists. Like we've seen today, we are archaeologists, we are historians, we are people who work with genetic methodology. So for me, this is fascinating to see how one small centerpiece like Duga, like the ruins there, can facilitate this dialogue about bigger questions, about really large issues that, uh, like to say, concern us uh, in Agia, in our working group Common Heritage and Common Challenges, which has, of course, fast facilitated uh, this project where I have the chance to work with my amazing colleagues, Olfa uh, Masoud and also with Nadia Bahra. I've met them actually for the first time in person now. And uh, we have follow-up projects on this. So for me, this was opening up uh, a whole new horizon because I come to the topic as a historian of a later period. I don't work on Roman antiquity, but uh, I'm really concerned with similar topics. So I look in my own research into how difference in society works, how groups in one city, for example, differentiate themselves, how social boundaries are being established. And then learning, coming here, learning uh, that Duga is an example for justice, that it is a community double, uh, like we learned uh, yesterday, was just really interesting for me to relate uh, the two pieces in that way. Uh, as an archaeologist, my contribution was uh, to bring uh, the point of view of uh, prehistorian on uh, ancient uh, DNA studies and their addition to major debates on uh, cultural, uh, anthropological and paleontological uh, issues and uh, how uh, we can set a fruitful collaboration uh, in interdisciplinary projects.